So it comes down to whether you actually have free will. I would say that yes, every test you could make would demonstrate that you have free will and that you can make any choice that you want. However, there's a lot of things that are programmed that you really don't have a choice over. The desire to reproduce, to eat, to sleep, things of that nature, which you don't have a choice over, although when it comes down to any given moment in time, it appears that you do. And any test that you could make would show that. And so on an individual basis, it's like the uncertainty principle is there for the individual alone. When you have a collective, an ensemble, then an ensemble behaves in a predictive, deterministic way, like a group of people. If the larger, the more predictable. And so you do have this apparent duality, and both are true, and neither contradict each other. It just comes down to recognizing, in my estimation, that's how neurochemistry works. It all is fundamentally comes down to quantum mechanics, the uncertainty principle. Uh, and so it's endemic in all experience. So that would be my take on it. Uh, yes, I do see quantum mechanics as fundamental to our perspective in terms of that's really what drives us when it comes down to the most basic principles of how our brain and the neurochemistry works. So I hope that helps. I guess I wasn't sufficiently descript earlier. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.